Hi guys, so I've got another recipe video for you today. It's been a while since I've done a recipe. So today I'm going to do the homerty pie. Um, it was taken out of the Slimming World Autumn Flavours um, booklet that came with one of the Slimming World magazines. Um, this recipe serves four people and it is free on Extra Easy and Green. Um, because it is actually a vegetarian there is absolutely no meat in this whatsoever so it's also a good one for all you veggies out there so I'm just quickly going to run through what you're going to need you're going to need 350 grams of potatoes it says floury potatoes such as Desiree or King Edward but I'm just using the bog standard uh, white potatoes which I've always used for this recipe and it works just as fine so you need 350 grams of that you're going to need two leeks, um, we need to chop those up. You need two medium onions, you need 200 grams of frozen peas. Uh, you need two garlic cloves, I'm, and I'm going to use the garlic granules, so it's half a teaspoon of the gra garlic granules. You also need, it says, a handful of fresh parsley and fresh thyme chopped, but I'm just going to use the dried parsley and the dried thyme because I don't do fresh herbs, never have. Uh, you're going to need some chicken stock made up to, eight, to 85 mils of chicken stock. So I've just got it in the North Stock Pots. You need two eggs. You need 160 grams of reduced fat cheddar um, or vegetarian alternative and um, grated up. And you're going to need some salt and black pepper. And you're also going to need your fry light. So that's your ingredients. And I'm going to show you how to make this lovely dish. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your potatoes uh, peeled uh, and chopped and get them in a pan and boil those for about 15 to 20 minutes until they are soft enough to mash and then we're going to mash them up. Okay, so while we're waiting for the potatoes to boil, I'm going to chop up the leeks and you need to dice the onions but I've been using the already diced ones so you just need to chop up the leeks. Okay, so once your potatoes are boiled, you just need to mash them up and then put them into a bowl. And set aside until we're ready for the next part. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we're going to be frying the leeks and the onions. So you want to spray a frying pan with some fry light and I'm actually using the butter flavoured fry light um, because I just find it gives that extra little bit of flavour to the leeks and um, so yeah so you just want to get the pan hot okay so once the fry light is hot you want to add the leeks To add the onion, and you also want to add the peas as well, the frozen peas. And you just want to cook those for about six to eight minutes until the vegetables are soft.
want to do is once your vegetables are cooked through, you want to add the mashed potato. Now it says to add the mashed potato to the vegetables, but I do it this way just because I find it easier to mix it all together in a bowl. So I'll take the mashed potatoes that I had earlier. Just add the vegetables to it. And then into that you're going to add your garlic. So it's two cloves of garlic, which is the equivalent of half a teaspoon of the garlic granules. So that's that. Your parsley. Like I said, it just says it is a handful of fresh parsley. So really, it's just however much you feel you want. And the same with the thyme. Just give that a nice mix in. Oops, using some of my leaves. You also want to add your stock, which is the 85 mils of vegetable stock. I realised when I did the ingredients before I actually showed you chicken stock, but it is actually vegetable stock that you need to add, not chicken, obviously, because it's a vegetable dish, not a chicken dish. Um, and you need to add your eggs to this, which you're going to need to beat. If anyone's seen any of my recipe videos previously, you'll know that I'm rubbish at cracking eggs. So need to add half the quantity of cheese so I've just measured out half of this so that's 80 grams of your cheese in there and just give it all a really good mix through so your ingredients are all combined Take your oven proof dish, just make me bits and pieces out of the way. To take your oven proof dish and just give your dish a quick coat of coating of the fry light. And then just spoon your mixture into your dish. Sorry, I actually forgot to add the salt and pepper to this, so never mind. I'll live. But you actually add your salt and pepper before you put it into the dish. And then you just sprinkle the remaining cheese over the top. There's actually loads of cheese here. It's surprising how much, how far it goes. Doing really good. There we go. So that's your finished dish. And then that needs to go into the oven. Okay, so this needs to go into a preheated oven of 220 degrees C which is 
Gas Mark 7. So, in it goes. That needs to go in for 20 minutes. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, I want to take it out of the oven. And that should be roughly what it looks like. And I'll show you what it looks like when I dish it up. And there's your finished dish. Homity pie.